Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, coming at you with a brand new deck profile for the new April 1st, 2017 ban list. And today I'll be showing you guys my Nurse Burn OTK deck. And no, this is not an April Fool's joke. Um, I actually do have the Nurse Burn deck finally put together. Um, I was really excited when Destiny Soldiers came out, uh, when they um, you know, reprinted uh, Nurse Repicule and made her Dark Lord Nurse Repicule, which means she is searchable off of uh, Banishment, which adds a lot of consistency to the deck. Um, the unfortunate thing was that uh, at the time that uh, Destiny Soldiers came out, I didn't want to drop all that money on the play sets of Into the Voids or the play sets of X Gels. Uh, so that's why I put off playing the deck for a while. Um, it actually did get a couple regional tops uh, before ZDX came out because uh, the deck going first was just really consistent and can you know really easily OTK the opponent. And then going second at the time, it wouldn't have too much trouble OTKing. Uh, but now with Zodiax out and you know some of the other decks that are out there in the meta, um, this deck does have a harder time going second. But um, yeah, you can still sometimes pull off the OTK going second as well. And I do have a lot of things in the uh, side deck that kind of counteract um, some of the things the meta decks will do um, if they go first on you. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get right into the deck profile. And boy, with this being April Fools, this would have been a lot of fun to take to the uh, Columbus Regional today um, as a nice uh, April Fools uh, troll to joke if I was able to go. Um, starting off, we of course have the free uh, Dark Lord Nurse Rapicule, um, you know, heart and soul to deck. Uh, the thing that makes those uh, cards that would make your opponent gain life, make them lose it instead. Um, so you just need to see it as early as possible. Um, this is actually the only monster. I do not play the Dark Lord X Gels or any other Dark Lords or Dark Monsters. Um, I was highly considering doing that, but I just don't really feel like dropping the money on the X Gels just for this deck. And honestly, like the whole engine I would have played would have been like free X Gels, uh, free of the Dark Lord guy that protects the Dark Lord from being destroyed, and then free Lord Darkness. But the deck's already tight on space to where I just don't think I would have been able to make room for the nine card engine. So I, I feel like just the Nurse on its own is is good. Uh, for spells, we have the Triple Banishment. I uh, played around with two a lot because, of course, you know, you have a lot of draw power with this deck, and this card is only once per turn, but you do need to see your nurse as early as possible. Um, even if you already have a nurse, it can be a nice deck fitting card, and you do have a lot of ways in this deck to get, um, you know, dead cards out of your hand into the grave, or, you know, shovel things back with, like, Magical Mallet. So, I feel like just, you know, making this maximum consistency with free banishment is the right call. Uh, then we have the three card demise, just really, really powerful card in this deck. Um, if you resolve this, you're almost always going to get uh, the cards you need for your OTK. Uh, the triple cup of ace, uh, really Luxaki card. Um, really funny when you pull off like two or three of these in a the turn because you you are lucky and win the um, coin toss. Uh, even if you don't win the coin toss, the kind of funny thing is that um, you know the cards that your opponent draws can just fuel up your um, you know secret barrels that you'll see here in a few minutes. Um, you know, since they it burns for 200 times the number of cards they have on field and in hand, so you know, a couple of base, even when it doesn't work, isn't totally dead. Uh, but you just need to draw power. Uh, then we have the three dark world dealings, uh, good for drawing a card, good for uh, getting dead cards out of hand, and then again is another card that can fuel up um, you know your secret barrel as well. Uh, triple into the void, um, you know, just more draw power. Um, you need to draw as many cards as possible to get to what basically is a four card combo with uh, Nurse or Bad Reaction plus uh, free burn cards. Uh, so it's pretty much an all or nothing deck. Uh, the free Magical Mallet, uh, really good when you have those clunky hands with like multiple dualities, multiple demise, multiple banishments, uh, you know, just for getting those dead cards out of hand and drawing other cards. Uh, then speaking of duality, we do play the three paw duality. Uh, another card you want to see as early as possible. And if you draw multiples, you have a lot of ways to get it out of your hand. Uh, then only the two paw desires. Um, if you own three, you can play three if you want. But um, at most, if somehow you don't pull off the OTK and you survive the next turn, uh, at most you're really only able to play two. Because you draw so many cards and you already banish ten off of this. So I think two is just fine. And then for the final spell, the one Upstart Goblin, which uh, works really well with Nurse, you know, being able to draw a card and then burn them for a thousand damage. Uh, just unfortunate that this card is at one, because I really love playing this card at free in Nurse. Uh, so for traps, we have the Double Bad Reaction of Samochi. Um, reason why I also play the Samochi along with the Nurse is because there are a lot of decks that, if you're going second against them, they can just easily get over the Nurse Reficule with, say, Zodiac Dryden. Uh, so you need, like, kind of a second card. That does the same thing that Nurse does uh, in order to be able to, you know, play around that. So that's why I do play the Samochi. Uh, plus, you just need to maximize your consistency on getting the, um, you know, you know, uh, 
reverse burn cards, if you will. Uh, then we have the free gift card, uh, free try and guess, and also the free Paz of Destiny. Um, I cannot find my third one for the life of me, so I'm proxying the third one. Uh, but yeah, these are your um, life point gain cards that with Nurse and with Samochi, uh, they of course lose life points. Uh, gift card and try and guess are 3,000, and then Paz of Destiny is uh, guaranteed 2,000 burn on your opponent. And then, uh, depending on how you are with your coin toss, you either gain 2,000 life or lose 2,000 life off of, um, you know, the full effect of the card. So, overall, just really good. You need to maximize on them to be able to see as many of them as possible. Uh, then for the final main deck card, we have the two secret barrel, uh, just an extra burn card in case you need that little bit of extra damage. Um, if you're going first, it's a guaranteed 1200 damage because I'll have six cards in hand. And then if you give them more cards off of say Dark World Dealings or Cup of Base, or you need you like wait for them to go halfway through like the Zodiac combo, uh, could potentially do like at least like 2000 damage to where it's like the same thing as Passive Destiny sometimes. So that's why I do play the secret barrel. Uh, so that's it for main deck, total of 40 cards. Um, you do have to play an extra deck for this because a try and guess requires that both players play an extra deck. Um, but I just play a full extra deck of fusions because, you know, you don't really need to go into any Xyz or anything. Uh, so, of course, Dragon Buster, uh, Blaze Phoenix, Buster, the Buster Dragon Fusion, uh, Chimera Tech, uh, the, the um, Cubic Fusion, um, Dynaster, uh, El Shadal, uh, Shekinaga, Norden, uh, Electrum, missed that guy. Uh, first of the Dragons, Fluffle Tiger, uh, Gemini Prismara, um, Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon, uh, Imperion Magnum, and then finally the one Luna Light Lido Dancer. Uh, kind of the cool thing you can do. Um, it's a little bit of a douchebag thing to do, but you're playing a troll deck if you're playing this, so you might as well. Um, you can like have your extra deck face up with, say, ABC Dragon Buster or one of the other extra deck monsters um, face up, and you can really you know trick your opponent into thinking you're playing something that you're not. So it's one of the cool things about it. Uh, and then the cool thing about playing 15 fusions is that if you're in a pinch and you need to save yourself, you can try and guess, call fusions, and then you're guaranteed the game 3,000 life off of that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so for the side, uh, pretty much all stuff that's here in case you are forced to go second. And, you know, there's just a lot of cards that unfortunately can, you know, stop the second's tracks uh, other than just its own consistency. Uh, first, we have the Free Forbidden Lance. Uh, this is here for the Paleozoic matchup mostly because they have like you know the Book of Moon, the uh, Karma Cut that can get over your Nurse, and they also have their own MST as well. Um, so you just need a Forbidden Lance to be able to protect your Nurse. Uh, free MST, uh, mostly here for Roll Decree and Anti Spell Fragrance as well. Uh, the Free Swords and Sealing Light, Two Dark Hole. Uh, one Book of Moon and one Regeki, uh, basically board wipe cards in case you're going second and you need to get over annoying monsters like Dryden, uh, like Totem Bird, like um, you know the Invoked Macaba. Uh, totally awesome. Just anything that can you know stop your combo in its tracks. And then for the final side deck card, uh, the two Typhoon just for extra uh, back row removal for for row of the Cree or for uh, anti spell fragrance. Um, so that is it for this April Fool's uh, deck profile, I guess, uh, you know, of my uh, Nurse Burn OTK for the April 2017 format. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I know some of my viewers that are on my Facebook page are at the uh, Columbus Regional currently today. Uh, so I wish you guys the best of luck, and uh, I will catch you guys next time.